Was the scariest sound you could have heard 66 million years ago this one? Probably not, but hey, that doesn't mean there weren't even more bone-chilling sounds out there. In today's episode, we're gonna take a crack at busting the myths Hollywood and game devs have been selling us. For quite a while now, scientists, those paleoacoustic nerds, have been trying to figure out the real deal about dino sounds and their chit-chat. And guess what? It's not what you've been hearing. Huh? Alright, I'm no biologist, but I've scored some publications and online stuff showing that dinos might have shared some anatomical quirks with today's animals. We're gonna zero in on the body parts that matters for sound making and size them up against today's beasts to try and cook up some real life dino noises. I'm Kuba, welcome to Cactus Sound, let's get this show on the road. Every sound we're gonna play with today is just a guess, a slice of my imagination, but thanks to those scientific papers, they might be a bit closer to what dinos actually sounded like than the pop culture versions. From what I can tell, our current smarts and research tools can't nail down exactly what each dino's pieces sounded like, so we're not here to outsmart the big brains. Mostly cause soft tissues are no-shows in fossils, but the general structures or skeletons can give us few hints. Thinking about this video, I figured it's a pretty cool challenge for a sound designer. It's one thing to whip up dragon roars or cyber civilization sounds. Here we are dealing with creatures that legit walk our planet and scientists are kinda our guides to get it right. Go ahead, dive into Dino Anatomy, let your imagination loose and have some fun. This video is gonna focus on dinos like T-Rex, Brachiosaurus and Velociraptor. I picked them because first of the sounds of T-Rex you've been hearing are probably the biggest tall tales out there. Brachiosaurus seems uh, like a ripe subject for uh, sound revival and Velociraptor might have sounded a lot like today's birds. Now let me spill how I plan to tackle these sounds. Digging through text for this gig, I scouted for links to today's living animals uh, to snag their sound bites. Being in Poland, it's not like I can just go out and record an elephant, gator, cassowary or emu. But thank goodness for globalization. And luckily, dinos had some things in common with today's animals. Our blueprint for mimicking dino sounds comes from these very creatures. Dinosaurs were the big guys and as Sound Design 101 goes, bigger beast, lower pitch, smaller guy, higher pitch. Uh, this is a natural version, but we still gotta dial down the pitch on our source sounds. Uh, didn't get all mathy with it, this is all about sparking the imagination. I aimed for the realism, at least in my book. Added some deep tone layers to beef up the sounds too. Sometimes when I couldn't find the right animal sounds, I used human vocals. If you're good with your voice, try imitating bird or mammal sounds and use them as layers for your dino sound mix, just like with zombies, dragons, trolls and like. First one, T-Rex. So what's the scoop on T-Rex? Probably didn't look like the movie version, shred some cool stuff with birds like uh, the voice box, earrings and even feathers in its early days. Less scary? Maybe in pictures, but check this out. T-Rex was a whopping 12 meters long over 3.5 meters tall and weighed in at 5 to 7 tons. That's beefier and heavier than your average adult elephant. And way longer thanks to that boss tail. I bet even the feathered version was a sight to see in real life. Diving into research, scientists point to non-flying birds like emus or cassowaries as T-Rex's closest cousins. They also mentioned that our dino stars sound might have had a thing or two in common with gators or elephants. Here's my take based on sounds from cassowaries, emus and gators. I've got these recordings, slowed down and tweaked to drop the pitch and bring out the lows, cooked up a couple of versions, some sounds I picture as casual dino talk, and one more aggressive, maybe for when things got heated.
sound more legit than Spielberg's take? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Next up, Brachiosaurus. This bad boy stood 13 meters tall, nearly 30 meters long, and could weigh up to 80 tons. The word is this giant might have sounded akin to an elephant or a whale. Experts talk about its anatomy pointing to it producing low, deep sounds. I kinda see it as a stretch out whale on elephant legs. For Brachiosaurus, I used samples that echoed whale sounds, added an elephant's low rumble, pitched everything down and stretched it out. Tossed in a synth layer for a low resonating sound, filling out the lows to make it even more massive. And you know what? The end result in the Dino sound making realm feels surprisingly natural. Last and maybe the trickiest, Velociraptor. The brainy folks say it was pretty bird-like, some even tried to label it as an actual bird, lived in ancient Asia, probably sported feathers. It's the smallest in our lineup today, just a meter tall, nearly two meters long, weighing around 20 kilos. There's a theory floating around that the stellar sea eagle uh, is its closest living relative, another big bird from Asia. Following that lead, don't expect any spine-tingling screams or roars. If the scientists say it's eagle-like, we'll go with that. It's the least flashy example in this vid. Here's our eagle recording. Cut, lowered and slowed, mixed with a bit of big clacking for some flavor. How does it compare to Jurassic Park? Not even close, same as T-Rex. And that's a wrap for now. Drop a comment to, to let me know if you dug the sounds or if you're curious about other Dino sound reconstructions. The comment section is all yours. Just remember, it's pretty likely none of the sounds I've whipped are exact Dino replicas. But honestly, this was one of the more intriguing challenges I faced this year. And like I mentioned at the start, it's a killer exercise for any sound designer. If uh, any of you ever try something similar, hit me up. We might cook up another video combining different takes and sound making methods. For now, don't forget to smash that like, subscribe and catch you on the flip side.